Everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get the subscriber count of a YouTube channel uh, using the YouTube API. And we're going to do it in under 20 lines of code. It's really simple. I'm going to walk you through every step of doing this. Okay. I'm going to tell you our assumptions. And, and really, our assumptions are only two. The only two assumptions I have before you do this video is, uh, or before you follow this tutorial rather, is that you have the channel ID in question, which is really, really easy to obtain. You just, just Google how to get my channel ID or how to get a channel ID, and, and you'll get this string. This is the ID of the YouTube channel. And then assumption number two is, the, uh, is you have a developer key. Getting a developer key, super easy, just takes a few minutes to register your app. We're not gonna go into that because that's a whole separate video. So given those two uh, pieces of information, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to install this uh, Python library. This Python library is the Google, uh, Google API client, and then import Google API client.discovery. These other two, private and pprint, private is just a, uh, a, a file that's got my developer key, so I'm hiding it from this this tutorial, and then pprint is just so that I can print the responses uh, more readably. But, but this is the main one. This is what you need here, the Google API client. Once you do that, you set the variable of API service name to equal YouTube. You set the API version to v3. And then you set developer key, all caps developer underscore key. And then you set it to your key in your instance you know, you might want to do something like this, you know, like my developer key, you would put it in right there. Very, very easy. But I, I need a little privacy here, so I, uh, I hit it in the other file. From there, you create a new instance of this variable called YouTube. YouTube equals Google Apple API client dot discovery dot build. And then you pass in API service name, which is the just YouTube. You pass in your version and then you pass in your developer key. So that dot build method in Google API client dot discovery, this build method requires three pieces, service name, YouTube, API version, V3, and then your developer key. Once you do that, it's, a, it's really a matter of sending a request and then getting the response and then properly printing out from that response the item that you need. So to build our request, we're going to use the YouTube. That's our that's our uh, our build, and then we're going to use this channels uh, method. There's other methods in this YouTube uh, library. Uh, what is it? instance? You know, there's like search uh, to name a few. There, there's there's tons of different uh, methods in there, and we're just going to use channels and then dot list. And then list requires three pieces. First, we have to pass in this thing that's called part. Right? This kind of tells us what, uh, what to return to us. So the most important part here is statistics. So you have to pass in statistics, uh, snippet, and content details. Next item is the ID. That's the channel ID in question. And then this really isn't actually needed. We can take that out. Let's hope so. And then I'm going to run it, and uh, uh, we'll find out if that was needed or not. From there, we're going to get our response back as a request.execute. And then from that response, we want to execute, or we want to take out the uh, information that we need. All right. So let me let me first show you what a response will look like. And we're going to run this. Let's hope it works. Yes. There you go. So the reason I use pretty print is because if you don't, this is, I'll show you what it looks like so that you know what you might get if you don't use pretty print. It's just a long line of text, hard to read, hard to match up, which is what. So we're going to run pretty print and I'll format it a little bit for us. So first part of this response that we're going to start stripping out is items. And then items returns a list. So you just have to do uh, zero first item in the list. Uh, I think maybe if max result is higher, that would be more than one, but there, there's not more than one in here. I, I don't even know. Uh, and then from the list of zero, we're going to scroll down and find statistics. 
So statistics is the next key. And then from statistics is a uh, subscriber count, okay? So let's clean this up a little bit. We'll rerun it and hopefully this will just give us our subscriber count, which is 77, 77. So we have 77. What else was there? Let's see, what were our other options of, of what we could uh, pull out of there? How about view count, right? To get view count, all you would do is that. Boom, so that's it. So the, the whole channel has had 8,044 views. So that's a super basic way to use the Google API client uh, library and then use the API service of YouTube to pull out uh, the subscriber count uh, from a YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing many videos on this API in coming weeks, months, days. So please hit the subscribe button if you want to see me go more into detail on how to work with the YouTube API. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.